My name's Joe Musket. Uh, we're at Oakenden, uh, which is about uh, 35 kilometres southwest of Mackay. And we're standing in a crop of sun hemp. This uh, sun hemp crop we're uh, standing in is uh, a crop that we're using to propagate seed. Okay, um, this plant is also a legume, uh, which is also valuable as a rotation crop with sugarcane. Uh, it can fix large amounts of uh, biomass, uh, up to about 20 tonne or 22 tonne of dry matter per hectare. And it can do that in a relatively quick time, so you know, 120, 130 days, it can it can um, accumulate that sort of biomass with about um, 300 kilograms of nitrogen, which is also very valuable for the following cane crop. Um, in uses for this particular plant, besides the ability for it to be a good uh, green manure crop, um, we've done some uh, work with uh, Mackay Sugar. Uh, really investigating uh, its potential as a fuel for its co-generation uh, project at the at the mill. Now um, this particular crop uh, we've sent in about uh, 70 tonne to Mackay Sugar that's been through the handling uh, process in the mill and it's gone through quite well. Um, its burnability is up there with bagasse so that's uh, uh, very encouraging and the residues uh, are within acceptable limits for, for Mackay sugar. So uh, at this stage where we are, um, we will now, that, that, um, uh, that the, where we are at that point is that we will trigger a uh, business case and um, we will do the economics around supplying that in a, in a large quantity. Our business was purely, like if we went back a decade, a bit more than a decade, we were purely producing sugar. And we, you know, we obviously looked at the business and looked at how do we add value to what we're doing. Um, and then we started really looking at other crops uh, to complement what we were doing and, and also complement the, the, you know, the follow-on sugar crop. Using this as a fuel, using it as a, a legume rotation crop is really the low end value of what its potential is. Uh, there's a whole range of uh, products that come from, from these plants. Um, you know, be it ethanol, uh, um, be it fibre, and, and fibre is the, the raw material that goes into bioplastics, um, you know, and from that there's car componentry that's built, there's absorption materials, uh, there's geotextile matting, there's a, there's a whole range of materials that can, that can be uh, produced from, from this uh, crop. You know, we've done the agronomics and we know that this crop can grow in this region very well and we can produce biomass at world standards. Okay, so we've, we've looked at where it's being produced around the world and we can do that, replicate that here in this region. Uh, the challenge is, is to make, you know, is to develop those markets to have that flow on benefit so that every year we can produce, produce a crop and put it into a marketplace and that's, you know, that's the stumbling block. I, I think, yeah, a third of the production area into other crops, yeah. Um, wall sugar is going to be the baseline of our business because, I mean, we know that this region, you know, has got the infrastructure to support sugar. Um, while 85% of what we produce goes out in the world market and it's a very volatile system, um, to secure the business here, I believe we need to have a third of the income stream coming from other crops. And um, that's what we're going to work towards.